everybody, welcome back. I'm in the super busy shopping area of Myeongdong in the very center of Seoul. And I wanted to show you guys around. It is uh, Saturday night and it's pretty busy here. I've been here for like a, about an hour. Just like looking in some shops and stuff and eating a little bit of uh, street food like that right there. And uh, anyway, I've been here for about an hour. And it's actually cleared up a little bit, but it's still pretty busy. Uh, I don't know how much of this video will actually even be uploadable because of all of the background music going on. So I'll probably get like a copyright strike or something and have to edit some out, but maybe not. Anyway, let me show you guys more of the street and I'll keep talking. So this is kind of the main area right here. And like I said, it's all street food and a bunch of vendors and uh, it's also a very popular place with uh, a lot of foreigners. It's always like this. It's really busy and uh, just get stuck between people. You get your counterfeit goods right there if you want them. This is definitely a place to come in Seoul if you are looking for counterfeit goods because there are tons and tons of them but it's really more about this kind of stuff here like again street food just to sell lemonade <clears throat> and all kinds of stuff I'm not going to be eating anything because I already ate but this is definitely a great place to come for street food some of this is a little bit of uh, a little bit expensive though. Um, everything's gotten more expensive everywhere. Like I was talking about in one of my recent videos where I kind of ran around and, and was trying to figure out why the price of fruit had gotten so high. Um, but it's here too. Anyway, it's not too bad. You come here and get a uh, you come here and get a bunch of food anyway is what I was saying and uh, it'll probably cost you like I don't know you can get like a meal here for like like 10 US dollars actually let's take a look right here I'll give you guys an idea of uh, prices so you can get this right here for it says ten thousand won. That's like seven fifty. So honestly, I think that's kind of a a bad deal. There's a place that you can go, a place that I was just at in Hongdae, which is another big tourist area, and uh, I bought some of that chicken right over there, and it was. Oh, it was like 6,000 won, which is like 450, and it's just about the same, so, you know, if you do come here, you're probably going to get, pay a little bit more, but anyway, come because it's cool. Oh, 
It's actually, guys, so the street is starting to empty out. It is now, I don't know what time it is. Let me check. Let me show you guys what time it is. Uh, uh, it is, oh, 9.40. Still pretty early. I probably got here at like 8 or 8.30. I don't even know. It was like jam-packed with people. We were like sardines. They're starting to empty out quite a bit. Anyway, so Myeongdong, like I said, is a big shopping area. Goes all that way. Really goes all, all a lot of ways. But uh, this is the main drag, which we just came up. And uh, you can do, you know, all your shopping there. And then it starts right up there. This is Dog KB Kmart. I think it's supposed to be a play on words, although it doesn't make much sense. Anyway, I think that uh, it's Tokebi, which means like demon. And I don't know why. Well, I guess it just must be a literal translation of it. So, all kinds of nice shops like that. More street food, some squid here. Mungochi, so gochi skewers. <clears throat> you can get the Muno is uh, squid, and so you can get that. And there's all kinds of other skewers and stuff. But anyway, let's uh, let's go this way and let's try to find. Uh, I'll try to find you guys an interesting shop to kind of go into and just breeze through to give you guys a better idea of what stuff looks like around here. Honestly, I think I should have turned the. I think I should have turned this camera on like when I got here because it would have been a little more interesting for you guys just to see how jam-packed it was then. Because even if you think this is jam-packed, this is much less busy than it was about an hour ago. Since I've been back in Korea, guys, I've noticed that there are pretty much everywhere <clears throat> a lot more, excuse me, of shops like this that kind of, this is Korea Mart, as you guys can read, but uh, they're basically focusing on snacks. And what I was going to say is that there are a lot of shops like this, I've noticed, like many more of them everywhere. So, anyway, this is a tourist area, so I guess people want to buy snacks. Wow, look at this place. I'm not trying to go into this. Actually, what the heck, let's go in and see what it is. What? Oh, I see. This is like a, a make your own. Make your own. Uh, whatever that thing is. I have the vocabulary of a two year old. Uh, I don't really want to go in there too long because it's just. It seems to be like for kids mostly. More accessory kind of stuff over here. Uh -uh. Okay, guys, I had to turn that off a little bit. Turn the camera off for a little bit because I thought that uh, all the music back there was probably going to give me a copyright strike. Still a bunch going on all around me, so I'll probably... S <clears throat> may still get one anyway, so... But I guess we'll see when I upload this. <laughs> Oh, what a place though, huh? Super busy. 
So guys, this is the place you want to come if you want to buy some clothes, some snacks, have some street food, and just see a bunch of people because, as you can see, this is just a sea of people. Here's another snack shop. It'll be a miracle if I can even upload this because of the, because of the music going on, but we'll try. Well, there's probably no way this is going to work without getting a copyright strike. It's all right. Aye, aye, aye. But if it does, you guys, comment. Alex Unorthodox is the greatest. Below. So guys, that was kind of a... Almost... A loop. So if we get back to there, to that sign that says Eider right there, we'll basically have come full circle and completed a loop. Basically, that's what you're going to see here anyway. Uh, Place is very cool. Hey, how are you? And we are right back where we started, guys. Anyway, I just want to show you guys that place or this place called Myeongdong. One of the busier places you can come in Seoul. This street is pretty jam-packed again. Um, but anyway, not much point to the video. I just want to show you guys a place that's interesting. And so that's basically it. So until the next time, see you guys. <clears throat> I thought this was going to be just a boring walking video where I showed you guys an interesting place. But you know what? I don't even have to say it. There's always someone interesting out there. In the train station, guys, let's... I'm in the same area. It just came from up there. But um, let's walk through here and see give you guys a better idea of what it looks like down here as well. 
really just a bunch more shopping, but um, <clears throat> if that's what you're into. Again, this is the place to be. So I'm gonna do a little loop here. And then, I'm gonna jump on the train myself. So guys, there are a whole bunch of these underground, little underground malls like this with, uh, <clears throat> this one's already starting to shut down now, but with a bunch of kiosks, you know, like that one right there and all of these right here. And so these are everywhere. This is Myeongdong again. <clears throat> I'm over in the Kangnam area. We're near the Kangnam area and there's one mm, right there too. So. They're everywhere. It's a great place to come to shop and, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that. And uh, show you what it kind of looks like. So let's go to, sorry for that crinkling, I got a bag. Bought a hat, but let me show you guys. What the turnstiles look like, in case any of you care at all. Just like this. And anybody who wants to come here, I think one of the best things about Korea, or one of the most convenient things, that there are a lot of conveniences about this city, uh, is the subway. It is very convenient and can be confusing because it's so expensive, but it's super convenient. You can really get everywhere. So let me take you guys down this way and we'll get on the train together and then I'll shut this off but um yeah this train system is great super easy once you know what you're doing really cheap I don't know if we I don't know if that showed up there but I paid I think I paid a thousand one or something like that maybe like twelve hundred one for for that train ride and that's you know that's like less than a dollar US and I'll be able to get back to my place so super cheap again see I gotta check this to make sure that I'm going the right way Okay, so, aha, yeah, 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 so I'm gonna go here, catch line three, and then, be on the way, so I'm going to Chumuro. So here we are guys. <laughs> you guys want to say hello? Do you want to say hello? Say hello. Where are you guys from? Japan? How do you like Korea? Is Korea nice? Yeah. How, how long are you here for? Four days? Okay, it's very short. <laughs> Where do you guys live in Japan? You from Tokyo? Oh. 
Nagoya? That's cool. Well, enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, guys, I think that's uh, I think that's gonna be it for the video. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed Myeongdong, and uh, I will see you guys again.